I had said in an earlier homily that there were only two miracles which Jesus worked, in which Jesus uses external methods. The first was some days ago in Mark chapter 7 verses 31 to 37. The second is in the gospel text of today, which is Mark chapter 8, verses 22 to 26. This miracle is a special miracle because it is found in no other gospel except in the gospel of Mark, much like the miracle in chapter 7, 31 to 37, also found only in the gospel of Mark. In other words, this miracle has to be interpreted from the Gospel of Mark and from the context in which the miracle is told. Jesus has come to Bethsaida and a blind man is brought to him. And the request is that Jesus heal the blind man like he did in Mark chapter 7, 31 to 37, he takes the blind man aside and performs an external action on the man's eyes and asks him if he can see. The man responds by saying that he can see, but not clearly. He sees what he thinks are people, but they seem to him like trees walking. This means a second procedure is required and Jesus performs the second procedure and the man saw clearly. What is the point which Mark is making in this miracle first in which external methods are used and second in which the man is healed not immediately but in two stages. There will be a miracle later in Mark chapter 10 of the healing of blind Bartimaeus who is healed without external methods, who is healed immediately. So which means that Jesus could heal the blind immediately. Why then does Mark have this particular miracle just before the question which Jesus will ask his disciples about his identity. What Mark is doing, he is comparing the two stages of the blind man's healing with the two responses which the disciples give. In the first stage, the man sees people, but they seem like trees. In the first response, the people respond to who Jesus is by saying that he is John the Baptist, he is Elijah, he is one of the prophets, which means unclear sight. Jesus is not John the Baptist, Jesus is not Elijah, Jesus is not one of the prophets. This answer is an answer which is identical with the first stage of the man's healing. He sees people like trees. People see Jesus like John, Elijah or one of the prophets. In the second stage, the man can see clearly. His sight is restored. In the second answer which Peter gives Jesus, he refers to Jesus as the Christ, which is the Greek Christos, and the Hebrew Masiya, which mean in English, the anointed one. Is that the correct answer? The man has received his sight, yes. But is Peter's answer about Jesus being the Christ the correct answer? That is the mystery which we will hear about tomorrow. The man in the miracle of today did not have physical sight. And yet, physical sight is not the only sight which we must have. We are called to have both physical sight and those of us who can see are blessed to have physical sight. But what is more important than physical sight is insight, sight of the heart. In the book, The Little Prince, there is a dialogue between the fox and the little prince. And in one of the dialogues, the fox 
says to the little prince, I am going to tell you a secret. It is a very little secret and it is this. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Will you try to see with your heart today and see what difference it makes to your life?